Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our new The 50 Game. Two-person strategy game uses some uh, very thoughtful math concepts. Uh, at least it does if you want to figure out uh, how to be good at it and win nearly all of the time. Um, the game uh, layout itself was designed by Stephen Brad of uh, Illinois who works with us and, and sells puzzles in Illinois. Um, the, uh, the game itself was made here in our Florida shop. Um, it has uh, the game board, the inner portion here, this is a cover, comes over the top and protects everything. The inner portion uh, is a little less than half an inch thick. This, is, this one happens to be alder, I may use cherry also. Uh, is about seven inches square. Okay. Now what we've got here is um, series of 50 holes and we've got two pegs uh, here and uh, we've got a marker peg over here. Uh, the goal is to be the first one to get to the finish line. All right. Uh, we don't need dice or anything. Everything you need is right here. All the instructions for the game are here. There's no paper that will come with it. You don't need it. Now to start the game off, uh, someone selects one of the eight available ranges here. You notice we've got one through five, one through, s one through six, one through seven, and so forth, up to one through twelve. Someone selects one of those ranges, and suppose um, you select one through nine. If you select, then I get to go first. If I select, then you get to go first. If you select one through nine, I move my uh, playing piece. By the way, these are nice hand-turned wood pegs. My, I move my playing piece anywhere between one and nine positions. So I could move one or two or three up to nine. Right? Now it's your turn. You pick up and you do the same thing, but starting from where I left off. So starting from here, you can move. Uh, there's there you move five. Now it's my turn, and I can move any number up to ten, and, and so forth. And this leapfrogging continues until we get close, to, and then we got to really start to worry a little bit. So in this case, if, if I ended up there, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you could win exactly. <laughs> because it's nine to that position. So I really wouldn't want to end up there, would I? But you have to think about, how do I not end up there? How do I make sure that I have the opportunity to get my peg into the last hole? And how do I do that for each one of these possible um, uh, peg jump variations that could occur? It's a, it's a very thoughtful little process um, that uh, I think some of you math teachers will in enjoy working with the kids on. Um, and adults will just enjoy because it it's fun and uh, hopefully you can figure it out and, and, and beat your family and friends uh, most of the time, if not all of the time. Now, at this point I'm going to give you some, some hints on the game and talk to you a little bit about the math. Some of you may not want to know because uh, you want to figure it out on your own. So you may want to turn away. But for the rest of you, well, let's take a look at this thing. Now this case here where we happen to be one through nine moves possible, we know that, um, let's see, if I want to end up with 50 and I'm moving second to the last, I don't want to get to the, the position 41 because that will allow you to go home on a 9. I want to end up at position 40 because now no matter where you move, if you move 1, I can move 9. If you move 9, I can move 1 and anything in between. You move to 45 and I can move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I win if I end up uh, if I, my peg is here at this point of the game because you're stuck. Now, if I need to end up at 40, how do I make sure that I end up at 40? Hmm, well, it's the same concept. I've essentially got to back off 9 plus 1 to 30. I've got to make sure that I end up at 30. How do I make sure I end up at 30? Hmm, same concept. I've got to back off 9 plus 1 and make sure I end up at 20 and make sure I end up at 10, and so forth. If I can do that all along the game, I'm going to win. So the, the, there's a little math formula that you might use for any of these ranges. Take my little pin out here. If our endpoint desired is 50, the next position I need to control is 50 minus n plus 1 where n is the maximum value of the range that we can move. So in the case where n was 9, 50 minus 9 was 40. I needed to control the 40. 
this process continues by maybe subtracting another n plus plus 1 so I can control 30 another n plus 1 so I can control 20 and so forth now this formula as it turns out will work regardless of what n is so let's say n was 6 Okay, 1 through 6 is the possible range. Then 50 minus n plus 1, or 50 minus 7, is 43. I need to make sure I control the 43rd hole. Backing off n plus 1, 43 minus 7 would be 36. I need to make sure that I control the 36 hole, and so forth. n minus 1, n and minus, uh, minus n plus 1 all the way back to an originating position. Now you can count backwards, perhaps, but you can take a little shortcut, too. Um, if, if n was 6, i got to think to myself, well, how many times does n plus 1, n plus 1 being 7 in this case, go into 50? 7 times, right? 7 times 7 is 49. It still goes into 50. 50 minus 49 is 1, which means I need to control the 1 position as a starting point. Instead of trying to back through all the numbers, I can get there right away. So I would need to control the 1 position, and now I just go in the reverse direction. Instead of subtracting, I will add n plus 1. I will add 7. So I need to control the 1. I would need to control 8. I would need to control 15. I would need to control 22, and so forth. If I can do that all along the way, there is no way that I can lose. Now, uh, seven of these ranges, I want to go first. If I go first, and if I control the correct positions as I'm supposed to, I cannot lose. I will win on seven of those positions. But there is one of these ranges here where I want you to go first. If you go first, and that particular range is chosen, then I, then I will win. But if you go first and you know what you're doing, you, you could win. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, well, probably won't matter much. I'll recover quickly because I know what points to control and you won't. Uh, I'm not going to tell you which one of those um, ones th th that I want you to go first. I want to give you something to think about. Um, uh, so th this is something you might be able to have some fun with. If you master it, you can win. Uh, virtually all the time against someone who hasn't mastered it. Uh, you teachers might want to show your students that uh, here's a way to use um, math equations to actually solve a real-life problem. Uh, you know, the problem being how to win this game. Um, so it can be quite uh, helpful for, for in some situations, I, I think and hope. Okay, uh, this is Dave from Creative Craft House, the 50 game.